Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nidhar Sheikh from Dento Magic. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're already been a Dento Magic family, then welcome back. So in today's video, I will be talking about and guiding you about how you can apply in the dental school in USA step by step. So stay tuned till the end and don't miss any point so that you don't find any difficulty while you are applying for dental school in USA. In today's video, I will be guiding the international student who want to get into the dental school in USA or for the people who want to practice as a dentist in USA. So it's for both of you. So keep watching and don't skip the video. So are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? So what we are waiting for? Let's go! Before moving on to the video, if you are interested in such videos, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be the Dental Magic family. So in today's video, I will be guiding you guys about the application procedure, ECE to DDS, all the cost and the fees and expenses that you have to pay and everything will be mentioned in this video. So, so the first step of your application is to create a dent pen. Now for the people who don't know what dent pen is. So dent pen is your personal identifier number. So this number is very important for you before applying for any application in US. So it is a unique personal identifier number for the people and the students who are involved with the US dental school application or education system and the standardized testing program. So the very important thing is that uh, you don't have to pay anything for this uh, dent pen. To create this dent pen, it is completely free. So you can go and register yourself and get the uh, personal identifier number that so step two is get the letter of recommendation. This step is very, 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 very important for you. So uh, in order to get the letter of recommendation, you can uh, get it from your dean or get it from the previous graduation college from where you have graduated. You can uh, uh, mail them or you can meet in person. That is completely your choice how you want to get it or you can set up a meeting with the uh, authorized person of your college and uh, tell them let them know that you are applying as a dentist in us and you want to want this letter of recommendation as it is a part of application procedure and you will highly 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 appreciate their uh, advice and perspective in this procedure of applying in usa now the total number of letter of recommendation you need is three so make it a point that you get at least three letter of recommendation and one very important advice for you guys here is that i would advise to get your letter of recommendation and tell them your need of letter of recommendation while you are giving your final exams so that you get enough time and you get it on time when you are applying you don't have to oh hustle around your college and uh, have to go through everything very quickly and you don't get it in time then you'll be losing time only so i would say just do it beforehand and remember one thing that you should have a timeline from uh, from the time of uh, your dental uh, final dental exam and the capit application as the capit application is valid only for one year so i hope you get it how uh, how to get your letter of recommendation when you can get it and what is the timeline so i hope everything is clear if not then you are free to comment down below and i will try to solve your query step three is to get your transcript along with the letter of recommendation this is also a very important document uh if i'm not wrong once we uh, complete our graduation dental graduation once we are getting all our document from our college we also get this document that is transcript while we are receiving the other documents from the college as uh, i have got from my college i hope you also you guys also have got it if not if by any chance you have not got then i would recommend you to get it as soon as possible so that you don't have to face any problem while you are uh, while you are applying for your application procedure as a dentist in usa 
I mention this in a, in every of my video and I am going to tell you here also again and remind you to make a complete list of documents that you require for your application and for uh, the procedure that you are applying for so that you don't miss any of your document and you don't have any chance of your application getting rejected. So it's very, very, very important for you to make a list of documents. Now, if you guys are interested in going to USA as a dentist and practice there as a dentist and you want to do any AEGD program, then I have got your bag. Want to know more in detail, then go and watch my video and I will provide the link in the description box below. Step four. Step four is to choose ECE or WES. Now you will be thinking, what is ECE? So let me tell you, ECE is educational evaluate credential evaluator this is a system which evaluates your credential and your documents that you have got from your college it is a very important step to go ahead in your process of application make sure to contact your college if you are uh, applying for any of the dental college then uh, ask them whether they prefer ECE or they prefer WES so according to their, their preference you can apply your evaluation credential in any of the one which your uh, college prefers or if you are applying as a dentist you can go for ECE because uh, uh, ECE is more common and more opted by the international students so I would say uh, just go through it and if you are applying as a dentist you can go for EC if you are applying in the college then you can go for whatever your college prefers now coming to the cost evaluation for the west the cost for the west the document evaluation is cost around hundred dollars and the evaluation course by course is around 160 dollar now coming to ECE, if you are getting your evaluation of the document, then you have to pay around $120 to $150 and uh, if you are doing by course by course, then you have to pay $195. And uh, the one thing that I have to include here is that the cost of your application is complete cost of application is around $800. And to get the application, you can go and visit the JNCDE website where you can go and fill the application form to go on further with the dental procedure coming to the step five step five is immigration and visa so once your application is accepted and you have to give the INBD exam so you can take the tourist visa and can visit USA or Canada to give your INBD and clear your exam once once your exam is clear and your application is accepted then you have to switch on to the student visa or if you have any of your family member living there in usa and he has a uh, that member has a green card then you can be on a dependent visa and study there in usa so this is the other way around so these are the two ways that you can uh, be there in usa on a dependent visa or on a student visa now coming to the cost and the expenses of the visa. So if you are on a dependent visa, it will cost around 160 to 250 dollars. And if you are on the student visa form of F1, it's around 510 dollar per application. And one very important advice for you here is that you have to apply at least three months prior on to the date of getting started with your step six step six is to apply for TOEFL or IELTS and clear your INBD exam this is a very important aspect so TOEFL or IELTS is the English proficiency exam which is very much needed if you are from a country where your native language is not English then you have to give this exam and this exam can be given from your home country itself it is an online conducted exam and the total marks that you have to score in TOEFL is around 100 to 110. That is the minimum marks that you have to score at least to get into the dental schools in USA. Now, the cost for the TOEFL is around 120 to 180 dollars. Depending upon where you live, it uh, the cost may vary from one country to another country. So uh, the average cost that I have cal uh, calculated, it is around 120 to 180 dollars. 
now coming to the INBD INBD is the exam that you have to give to get into the USA if you have to practice as a dentist in USA right so now NBA for giving the INBD you cannot give it from your home country you have to either go to USA or you have to go to Canada to clear this exam to give this exam okay 2020 the INBD was uh, having uh, two parts but now the things are changed and it has been now INBD have only one part exam but it is uh, divided into two days so on day one uh, you will be having a total number of 100 plus 100 plus 160 questions in that particular day and on day two you will be having 70 70 questions each total number of question will be 500 questions including both the uh, uh, both of the days and the cost of INBD is $985. So before applying, just check it yourself. What is the cost? And uh, it is just to give you an idea. The step seven is to apply for CAPED. CAPED is for applying in the university. So once all the step that I have mentioned you have completed, then you can apply for the CAPED. And the cost for CAPED, if uh, for the first designation, it is $215. And for each additional, cost it is $108 so uh, here one thing that is important for you to keep in mind is that most people tend to apply in the multiple universities why is this so because if one university rejects your application at least your application is there in other universities also so you have a chance of getting in one of the universities in USA if if by chance any college rejects you so giving you an idea if you are applying for the 10 colleges then the total cost will be around 1223 dollar after the capital application comes and supplemental application this is uh, not intended to be uh, in every of the university but some of the university will be having this supplemental application now you will be asking why it is so this supplemental uh, application is uh, the statement of purpose asking you the specific reason that why you want to get in and to make it easier for the colleges to sort the applicants out uh, and they can get the best fit for the mission that they are uh, getting the students for so this is uh, the application that you have to fill uh, which you can get in certain universities it is not in all the universities okay so you have to mention all as duties that you can perform and what you have done in addition and everything so that at least you have to give a strong statement of purpose so that your application get a special att attention and the cost for this is around uh, from 75 dollar to 250 dollars it totally depends from college to college the next step is the bench test or the interview so after going all through the uh, CAPED application, your supplemental application where it is needed and going through all your scores of INBD and your graduation time, the interviewer will actually uh, will be sure which candidate to choose. Once your application is chosen, once you want to be uh, under the bench test and the interview, they'll just mail you or they'll call you. Now the cost of the bench test is around uh, $1,000 to $2,500. The uh, cost I'm mentioning changes from one college to other college and the range that I'm mentioning uh, tend to change every year. So before applying, just make sure to know the actual price that you have to pay for your bench test or any other things that I have mentioned earlier in the video. Don't worry, I will provide all the links in the description box below so you can go and check it out. Step 9. Step 9 is pay your admission acceptance fees. Once your test and interview is cleared, your application will be accepted and uh, you are called for the admission. So for the admission, you have to pay around... 2000 to 10000 dollar it totally depends on the which university or college you are getting into once you are accepted and uh, once all your formalities are completed you will be sent an acceptance letter via mail so here is a small disclaimer for you guys once you get your acceptance letter uh, you have to pay your admission acceptance fees within one to two weeks so that you can guarantee that you are accepted and you got the seat in the 
dental school in US, USA. If you don't pay your admission fees within that period of time, then you will miss the admission in that specific college. So it's very important to make this very sure that you are paying the fees within one to two weeks. Now coming to the end, the last but not the least. <sighs> making your dream come true, seeing your dream coming true in front of your open eyes, starting your dental school in USA. Yes, once all of these procedure is done, you are welcomed in the university. So once you take admission in the dental school in USA, your dental fees will be around. Your fees will be around $25,000 to $40,000 totally depending upon which college you are getting in. And if you guys are confused to choose what course to choose abroad if you want to go abroad then you are free to watch the video that I have uploaded on my channel for you guys so you can go and watch my video and make your confusion go like this now coming to the living expenses the fees and the cause that I have mentioned before doesn't include any of the living expenses and the other things included so for two to three years uh, uh, the living expenses will be around 30 to 40 thousand dollars while you are doing your dental courses the very important thing that you have to do along with this is the ce courses presentation poster presentations conferences so these are the things that will add on the additional cost to your course which you have to make sure that if you are saving some of the money for your dental course and the living expenses please do add on specific uh, amount for these things all these things will be costing around 500 to 800 dollars so make sure to add on the expenses along with this so plan accordingly and very wisely and be very attentive on what are the what all are the expenses that you have to face and you have to get into i know i know it's a bit costly but uh, if someone is planning to go for it i would wish them all the best from dental magic and hope your dream come true so that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed the video and you got any value to your information if you like the video then don't forget to share with your friends and family and if you have got any good reason to subscribe my channel then please 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 don't hesitate to subscribe my channel hit the like button and be the dental magic family Stay tuned till the next video. Till then, stay safe, be happy. Allah Hafiz.